Hello, this is Jeremy from Math Boot Camps, and I'm just uh, really excited because uh, I was having trouble a while back when I was doing the statistics boot camp the first time around, finding really good places for uh, calculators for stuff like a t-test or a z-test. And Wolfram Alpha was just getting going, and well, now it looks like it's gotten there. And so I thought I'd show you a couple cool things that it's able to do now. So I'm at the main site for Wolfram Alpha. I don't have a professional account or even an account on here. And you don't really need one unless you're doing a lot of stuff. But let's say, for instance, I was doing a hypothesis test for a mean, something you do in statistics a lot. Let's say I wanted to do a t-test. You know, it doesn't seem like uh, that obvious that all you'd have to do is type in t-test to get a calculator. But look at what happens. It has all kinds of input. I can type in exactly the same type of stuff as I would do on a calculator. So the hypothesized mean, that comes from your null hypothesis. The sample mean, obviously from your sample, your sample standard deviation, your sample size. It even gives you a chance to use degrees of freedom instead. If you scroll down here, it gives you a p-value, which in uh, courses I teach, we tend to use that. And this is a p-value for the right-tailed test. But notice, I can actually do a two-tailed test. So we'll give it a minute. It gives me the new p-value, gives me the test statistic. You can do right-tailed or left-tailed test. And so you can actually adjust this down here based on what your alternative hypothesis was. So this is a really, really nice setup and also it graphs it for you if that's uh, something you're interested in. It goes even further and in case you're not uh, great at working with the p-value yet, it gives you uh, the different uh, decisions you should make. So this is really good for practice. So, so far I've played with the t-test and something I don't use too often, but it's in some stats courses, is the z-test. Right, and the z-test typically is used when you have a population standard deviation. And as you can see, it has the same setup, but here instead of saying sample standard deviation, it says standard deviation. Gives you the same thing. You can do a left-tailed test, two-tailed, or automatically it's giving you right-tailed. Test statistic, p-value, all the things you need to make a decision. Gives you the graph. And actually, you can do z-test if you type in z-test and then proportion. It will give you a setup for doing a proportion test. So notice, notice again, hypothesized parameter. Usually this is a percentage, right? Um, sample size, sample proportion. That's all you really need. Notice, though, sometimes when you're doing one of, the, one of these, you have the number of successes. So I can actually change my calculator form and make it so it uses that. This is more like what you would find on a TI-83 or 84. And notice it even uses the correct values down here. So this is very nice. Um, I think that uh, if you don't have a TI-83 or 84 calculator and you're doing statistics for a college course or a high school course, this is something that you could use as an alternative. You probably can't use it in class, but you can use it uh, for homeworks and things like that and as a way to check yourself as you're working on the calculator.